Q97.1, Danny Solis, representing all the way live from LA. We're at LA Live, getting ready for the biggest party of the summer, WWE SummerSlam. And we're here with a bona fide, certified, money in the bank ladder match winner, Damian Sandow. How you feeling, sir? I'm lovely, how are you? Uh, as we all know, the tragedy that occurred in the Gulf of Mexico where Mr. Rhodes launched my briefcase with my contract in it. And uh, pretty much it sank like the Titanic. Yeah, it did. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a horrible, horrible <laughs> series of events. Uh, and what most people don't know, uh, days ago, okay. in Corpus Christi, here we go. Where this Sandow is, Mania, it's running wild! Yeah. Oh, woo, Sir, Sandow. Mr. Sandow, I'm sorry that Mick Foley interrupted Sir, this live interview. I can't. It's not <laughs> Christmas. Look, take that shirt off, it is not it's Christmas. Christmas in my heart, Sandow. <laughs> So that's a man with a whole lot of love. I'm it's sorry. the middle of the summer and the man has been smitten with the Yuletide spirit apparently. <laughs> and it's the middle of the summer and he's wearing a, uh, a very long a blazer Christmas too. Christmas t-shirt. <laughs> There's plenty more of this in front of the Foley closet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. All right. uh, that's a beautiful... Oh, let's go. I'm let's go. double Santa. Mick Foley yeah. is stripping in front of Damien Sandow. Double this is Santa, first. all right? Would you like to sing a Christmas carol while we're at it? I mean, I would love, I would love to see Damien Sandow and Mick Foley sing a Christmas carol. What's your favorite? This is the top. Let's do it. Mine. The stars are brightly shining. This is my interview. So make the go <laughs> That's absolutely beautiful. One day, Ladies and gentlemen, one day. Mick Foley and Damien Sandow singing Christmas carols live in LA, gearing up for SummerSlam. If that doesn't sell a pay per view, I don't know what will. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what about Sandow cutting me off in Man. mid? Uh, <laughs> Mid him, I um, thought he was gonna go all the way with it. Well, I, I think maybe Oh Holy Night wasn't his Christmas jingle of choice. I think maybe he's more—he strikes me as more of a jingle bells kind of guy. I uh, don't, no, not at all. I thought he might have <laughs> uh, might embrace the uh, spiritual, but I did. I did specifically did not go with a uh, you know a seasonal frosty type of thing. We'll, we'll right. see. Maybe we'll have to settle this thing in the ring. <laughs> I think you might, right. think you might have to. And I'm going to go out on the limb and say that uh, Sandow chokes under pressure. He chokes <laughs> on right. pressure as if it was the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. I believe Sandow is going to fold <laughs> under the pressure. Yeah, Sandow, Sandow is, is deeply enthralled in whatever other radio conversation we're It's my prediction that Sandow will not be able to stand up to the pressure. <laughs> Don't worry, you clown him later. I'm you, you clown him. <laughs> Son of a legend, and allegedly making himself. Cody Rhodes in the house. How you feeling? Good man. How you doing? I'm doing right. good. Welcome, welcome back. And it's, uh, we're talking a little bit off the air. We saw you at WrestleMania, so it's really good to see you again. Yeah, brother. I don't think you guys remember me though. I remember you guys. <laughs> yeah, we, we remember you, That'd man. Be horrible. Can't, can't forget the stash. Thank you, man. Stash is. It's actually the stash is what we remember. There we go. We're That's like, who was that? Who was that stash? It was a, just a blank face. <laughs> we remember the mustache. Yeah. Like we vaguely remember some words coming out from underneath. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is silly, but I got a list of like 10 guys who I think are 10 future players. And I have something about each one of them. This is something really, I, I, it's bizarre. But I have a thing about each one that I think, okay, how can I be better than him? Like, for example, Dolph Ziggler. How next, can you be better than Dolph Ziggler? Next to Dolph Ziggler's name is the word abs. <laughs> And that's a small yep. thing. All, right. every, all every one of those guys has something like that that I think I treat it like a science. And you can't always treat it like a science, but ooh, this is my life, man. This is if there's a little bit of tension in the locker room, there's a little bit of like competitive right, like amongst two cats, that that's good TV. Yeah, competition yeah. breeds excellence, right? Well you see this is exactly who he is. <laughs> He is the world's best backhanded compliment. That is not true. He will hit you up. He will be having a bad day, you know, and then, like, uh, you know, I get fined or something like that. You know, like, hey, bro, I'm proud of you did what you did. You know, at least not coming out of your pay. Oh, sorry. You know what I mean? He's that. He's that guy. I love him. Nothing safe. You know, he'll, 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 he'll ruin your day with a smile on your face. Like, you know, you're, not, you're not the slickest guy. This is true. I like to do that. It's tough to get one past him. Yeah, there's some people that are good DTP, whenever we have interactions with him, he'll say something, and 20 minutes later, Titus O'Neill will come back and be like, hey man, yes, 
Oh, he was making fun of you. Yeah. <laughs> See, those are the best guys. But it's kind. too late. It's too late. He hits the grenade and you hear him go off like, wait, hey, wait a minute, man. I ain't cross-eyed. Like, you know? <laughs> Lazy action. Yeah, he had that one or nine. And he was, you know, like, I'm, are you talking to me? I don't know. And then he'll be walking away and I'll just be like, come here. Look me in the eye when I'm talking to you. Just come here. Come here. Don't mess with him anymore. Naomi and Cameron, a.k.a. Trinity and Ariane, I appreciate the time. Last words for Fresno. What do you got? We love y'all. And tune in every Sunday for Total Davis at 10 o'clock. Yes, I was like, wait, I have to think about that. We're on West Coast, baby. Because I've got to think about that for a second because we are on the West Coast. Um, yeah, so it would be, it would still be. If it's 10, if it's 10 Eastern, it'll be 7 Nine Central. <laughs> Oh God! This, this is, is literally the worst part of this. this that's the worst part. Seven. No, seven. Seven. No, but it's seven if you have HD. Seven and HD. What? But yeah, it's different. Okay, let's get this. Let me play Total Divas. We Make sure you watch Total Divas on E. Um, just DVR it. And you will. There you go. There you dynamite. go. Exactly. There we go. I